Hello everyone, I just finished putting together the Africa scene here on my Roland Phantom 06 and I would like to show you a few things. So this is I Bless the Rains, a brassy pad that I made using Zencore, which is the sound engine of the Roland Phantom. Here on Zones 2 and 3, by the way, Zones is the name of tracks inside of the Phantom 06, okay? Scenes are like live sets where you have different sounds and Zones are each individual track. They are more than tracks because you can do more stuff with each individual zone. But anyway, Scenes and Zones, okay? So Zone 1, I Bless the Rains. And this is very responsive. And you can see right there on the screen that this pad, this brassy pad is restricted to this area of the keyboard. And to the right I have mallets. And to the left I also have mallets. This is very nice about the Phantom is that it's very visual. You can see what's going on very easily. The volumes there pop up. You have the levels here, which are the volumes. The keyboard ranges in case you want to layer sounds or just split sounds. and this is absolutely fantastic. So in the middle I have the brassy pad, and the right and left to the mallets. If I go into parameter here, which is the tone edit, this is the Zen Core sound engine as well, and I'm using two partials. Now on oscillator type you're gonna see that I'm using PCM. VA stands for virtual analog. Here's where you will find saw, square, triangle, and the basic waveforms. But PCM is pulse code modulation, which is just another word for sample-based uh, synthesis, okay? Now here on oscillator parameters, I have wave banks. And inside of these banks, I have loads and loads of samples. So I browsed for some time and I found the marimba sound and the kalimba sound. So this is a mix of marimba and kalimba. If I just show you the marimba, just partial number one. Just the kalimba. Now, I could use, if I were to choose between either one, I would choose just the marimba, because to me it sounds closer. But when I add the marimba, it sounds a little bit clickier. This would be just the marimba with the kalimba. It's a very slight difference, and the level here is actually lowered. If I increase, it's even more perceivable but then it, it gets too bright, to me at least. I made it purposely easier for a person who only has one keyboard with 61 keys. So this split is brass in the middle and then kalimbas and marimbas on the left and right. Now you can see that the pads are lighted green and this is something wonderful about the Roland Phantom. We have several different pad modes. I'm not gonna go in depth into all of the different pad modes right now, but I'm using keyboard switch groups, which is pad mode number seven. If I hit shift pad mode, uh, I bring out this screen where I can customize which pads bring out which zones. So the first pad here, if I go into edit, you can see that I enable zones one, two, and three, which are this. Zone two is this. Zone three is this. If I just hit number two, it's just zone number four, which is I bless the reins, the, the brassy pad, but across the entire keyboard. I left it here because on number one, if I hit this low F sharp here, I am hitting the, the kalimba. But let's say you want to play the full chord. This low E and low F sharp here. Anyway, pad two is zone number four. Now, pad three is flutes. So this is for the solo, right? If I go further down and I hit number four, I have four different zones. Four.
Yeah, so that's a lot of stuff. Sorry for interrupting. Do you know why I make these videos? I make them to help you. But do you know how you can help me? You can just subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment below what video you think I should make next. Now here in the flutes, everything is in core here, by the way. I'm not using any other sound engines. So go into tone edits. Flutes in fourths, I named it because let me just solo this individual track. Let me go into number three and then deselect that. Okay, so this is just zone number five. It's the Zencore sound engine, but I am using PCM, which is sample based synthesis, right? And I'm using flute samples. So three different partials, partial number one, Afro flute A and Afro flute B. Now this is also something wonderful about the Phantom. Inside of each zone, you can have a Zencore tone. And inside of a Zencore tone, you can have up to four partials. So that's four different sounds inside of one single zone. But if you go into PCM, oscillator type, you can have wave L to the left and then wave R to the right. So you can have eight different sounds loaded into one single zone because you're choosing left and right for each individual partial. Okay, It's kind of overkill, but sometimes we, we do need a lot of stuff. So this is three different partials. Partial number one is Afroflute A and Afroflute B. So If I go into off here, this would be just Afroflute A. As mono, but I added another flute. Let me just reset here the tone. It's later parameters. Partial number two is the same. I just doubled it for girth, you know, to make it a little bit denser. And then partial number three, I have a different sample here, flute A and Afro flute C. And if I go into pitch, you're going to see that this is lowered by five semitones. So this is lowered by a fourth. I don't know if you have seen Greg Gaines's video um, showing how he plays this live. The flute bit up here. And I wanted to split the kalimba marimba thing so i decided to use the two side keyboards so you get this but that may be hard for a beginner keyboardist so this is just to make it easy you have both flutes because the, the interval doesn't change it's always a fourth so anyway zone number five is flutes and fourths i have three partials and it's basically the same sounds but doubled for density and then a different flute, a, diff a slightly different sound and transposed a few semitones down. Now, number six, this is synth flutes and fourths, synth flutes. So this I made not using PCM, I made using virtual analog and they're mostly square waves because square waves sound really fluty. So partial one square, partial two square, partial three square and partial four triangle because triangle is a waveform that isn't as rich as a square or a saw wave in harmonics but it's not as pure as a sine wave so it does have some additional harmonics other than the fundamental but it rounds up the sound a little bit so this is what this entire sound sounds like Some of you may be thinking well, it's a bit too dark, I would open the filter a little bit more, but if I do it, I start bringing out um, higher, higher frequencies that don't really fit in to me at least. So it starts sounding too much like a synth to me. So yeah, it's kind of filtered. And I could opt for just the actual flute samples or just this synth flutes, but by layering the two, I think we can really have a more, more dense sound. So just the sampled flutes, just the synth flutes. 
and then both together. Okay, now zones number seven and eight are also the mallets. But what's the difference? What is this called DLY? So number seven is, let me just that. It's the same patch. If I go into parameter here, it's kalimba and marimba, right? Marimba, kalimba. This one is almost the same patch. I just adapted the pitch. I transposed a few keys. This is so that we have this fifth interval here. Okay. So it's the same sound, but transposed. But the magic is a delay because just watch what happens if I take out the delay. It sounds like one single sound that has a fifth. But we're humans, we're not robots. So if we're playing, for example, there is a slight offset here. We're not playing exactly at the same time. There is a, a very small separation here. So if both sounds are sounding directly at the same time, such as this, I want this sounding. Yeah. It sounds like only one sound. If I go into effects and turn on the delay, from zone eight, sounds like two hands playing. Now if I go into the delay here, you're gonna see that I have 23 milliseconds to the left and 40 milliseconds to the right. This is a very, very small separation. So with no delay, with the delay. But the delay not just creates the separation, it also creates a stereo width because I have a different time for left and right. Okay, so it's 23 milliseconds and 40 milliseconds to the right. Now putting it all together, if I hit four, I have flutes and fourths, synth flutes and fourths, mallets and transposed mallets. It's not exactly perfect, nailed down to the exact sound of the record, but I think it's good enough. So number one, just the brass and the kalimbas slash marimbas. Let's say you want to play F sharp down here. So number two is. Number three, just the flutes for the first teeny solo. Then. You could do the same thing with two different keyboards, but this is just me putting it all together, making it easier for beginner and intermediate players, okay? Now for the second part of the video, I just wanted to show you how I created this I Bless the Rains patch. I always make my patches from scratch. For that, I have a scene here called blank. So if I head into parameter. Yeah, this is a blank sound. Just partial number one, using virtual analog and saw. This is where it all begins. I'm going to start by turning on partial number two. If I hit shift, and select the second partial. Now everything that I do is going to be done to both partials. So this is where I close the filter. I'm gonna close the filter all the way down, go to filter envelope, and I'm going to raise this because I am familiar. I know I have to do this. Some attack, I don't know exactly how much. Sustain, some decay, I don't know exactly how much. Some release. 
it's kind of like this the envelope for the filter but i don't have any envelope depth this is like the send right the mini book it's called amount of contour here's envelope depth less attack probably around 60 70 milliseconds something like this but it's in the wrong octave so i'm going to go into common pro octave shift negative one yes that's what i want go back to normal and then filter i'm going to choose so here you can see that we have low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter jp is the jupiter filter mg is the moog filter pkg i don't know exactly i think it's peak generator probably low pass filter 2 low pass filter 3 then profit 5 and voltage controlled filter number one i don't know if i use the jupiter or mo filter but let's just choose the jupiter for now yeah so the cutoff is open and we have the slopes here this is wonderful because you can see the difference minus 12 minus 18 minus 24. if you're familiar with the jupiter 8 the jupiter 8 had a switch here where you could switch between negative 12 or negative 24 decibels per octave slope negative 12. that sound was made on a cs80 and i know that the cs80 has a negative 12 decibels per octave filter so that's what i'm gonna go with close the cutoff we're getting there i'm not sure if we're going to use any keyboard follow maybe some and i know that we do use some resonance but not too much maybe 80 here i could add the chorus later but i'm gonna go to the chorus because it really moistens up the sound so chorus i'm not even gonna do anything just added the chorus to make the sound a little bit wetter but a very important part of the sound is that it's very responsive to velocity so where do i find velocity here on zen core i have to go into amp and i have velocity sensitivity but i'm not talking about velocity attached to the amp i'm talking about velocity modulating the filter if i hit the keys very softly the filter opens up less right so i have to go into filter and pro now here i have cut off velocity curve cut off velocity sensitivity this is what i'm looking for um let's see what the ceiling is 100 yeah so that's a lot this is very very sensitive it's not very good i don't remember exactly what number i dialed in here but i'm gonna go with 25 for now and i'm pressing very softly and the filter is opening up a lot but it's relative to the filter envelope so i have to go into the filter envelope and then decrease the depth a little bit yeah it's better but i can increase here the sensitivity to around 35. so it's a lot when when you're programming sounds that are responsive to velocity and to aftertouch there's a lot of back and forth because you dial in the filter okay it's perfect now you start adding sensitivity then the filter is opening up too much then you have to come down on the velocity sensitivity or the filter envelope and then it's yeah a lot of back and forth you get the idea i think more resonance let me try 150 yeah probably something like this but i definitely don't want this so yeah i do need keyboard follow now this keyboard follow some some synths have keyboard follow where here it's the same the standard envelope depth but as you increase the keyboard follow the filter opens up more to the right some synths the keyboard follow has a midpoint and when you increase the keyboard follow the filter kind of does this it's opening up more here and it's closing to here so in the case of this one you can see that this is very bright 
if I increase the keyboard follow here, it, it starts getting darker. Yeah, maybe 70 is too much, so I'm gonna go with 60. Okay, but I didn't do anything to the amp yet, so I'm gonna go into the amp envelope. 150 release. I think this is too little, so I'm gonna go to 300. Maybe you can add like 10, 20 milliseconds of attack here on the amp. We're almost there. The DK is too fast, I think. So I'm going to increase this to 400. I think it's sustaining too high. So I'm going to go down to 150. This is already good enough. This is better than a lot of people can make a brassy patch like this. Now, I just want to, if I go into zone view, you can see that I have no image there. It's not uh, assigned to any category. So where you assign categories on the Phantom is here on the common tab. You go into pro and it's the first I, uh, item there, category. So this is synth brass. When you select Synth Brass, it shows a, a JD over there. Now there's the magic touch. I added a chorus to make it sound a little bit wetter. But if I take out the chorus now, it's going to sound very stale, very dry. And that's because I didn't add the butter. I always add butter, which is the fine tune. It kind of doesn't even require the chorus when you add some fine tune. But it's always nice to have some fine tune and then a chorus. It's like I compare this to frying something with butter and then adding some olive oil on top. I do, I do that because I don't know. Yeah, so chorus plus the fine tune. It's not ideal. I would spend some time here now fine tuning the chorus and the fine tune of the oscillators. But you get the idea. So I started from scratch. I'm using two oscillators, in this case, two partials. They are both saw. I have the filter envelope going something like this, and the filter is closed. You can see the cutoff is at zero, so the movement of the filter, you can hear the sound because the filter envelope is moving, and it's doing this. It's called opening up with 70 milliseconds of attack, then 400 of decay. It sustains at 15%, um, 250 of release. And the filter is responsive to velocity. So if I press softly, if I press strongly, okay. So now a mini tutorial on building scenes on the Roland Phantom. I'm gonna find a initial scene here, a blank scene, and remake the scene from scratch. I'm not going to remake each individual sound from scratch. I'm just going to build the scene to show you what the process is like. The pads are pink. That means it's in pad mode one. I'm just going to switch to pad mode number seven, which is the keyboard switch groups. If I hit PRA here, this is where I select the banks from the Zen Core Sound Engine. So user bank, and I know that I bless the reins is 200 and something. I bless the reins, there it is. That's what I want, and I want the mallets. So, user 
the mallets are 230 something Africa mallets okay in here as well user and then 232 okay so this is the first keyboard switch group I'm just going to assign shift pad mode group number one edit zone one two and three okay I already know that group number two is just the I bless the rains patch alone which will be on zone number four because these three are occupied now exit go back to the zones and zone now I have these three sounds but they're layered so how do I make the division I can use the ranges or I can go into menu zone edits and map the keyboard ranges from here this is a very nice screen so the top key for the I bless the rains is this a right there the bottom key is what was it this D right here yeah now this I'm going to bring it to the right this I'll bring to the left one more a few more here Okay, so the split is set. Now I just need to adapt the octaves. So I'm gonna go down to a pitch. Then octave shift two is on the right. This I need to get one octave down. And this two octaves up. Ooh, that's missing. Keyboard range. Yeah. Okay, so the first keyboard switch group is ready. The second one here is I bless the rains. 203. Okay, and now five and six are going to be the flutes. Flutes and fourths in here user synth flutes and fourths i know that i'm going to have to do something to the volumes i don't remember which is the loudest flute i think it's number five yeah so i'm just gonna lower the level here by the way you have a different screen if you hit shift and pen level here you open up the mixer so this is where you can see it's just a different screen Anyway, I prefer the zone view. If I remember correctly, it was around 60 here. And now keyboard switch group, shift pad mode. Group number three is zones number five and six, the two flutes. Exit. Now one, two is three flutes. yes and now number seven and number eight are the mallets africa mallets two three two and here it's africa mallets with delay okay africa mallets delay now this is the delayed but this isn't transposed yet it already has a delay if you go into menu effects edits the multi effects is saved this is something nice when you save a preset if you're going to write and write tone it's going to write not just the tone but the multi effects that you have uh, assigned to it okay now the effect is okay i just have to go into menu zone edits pitch and plus five here or what no it was plus seven it's a fifth yeah now shift pad mode group number four is five six seven and eight exit 
exit zone view so number one number four is yes so it's i would say it's ready maybe i would tweak the volumes of some things but so far so good number one the split with the brassy sound and the mallets on the left and the right if i would do this for someone who can't play with both hands i would do it on the right so just gonna get this to the right this to the right same range but then i go into zone edits the same octave and now course tune negative five Yes, it's nice. That's what we're looking for. But the problem is we don't have delay on the Africa mallets. So if I go to Africa mallets delay. A lot better, right? So this is the easy mode. Not optimal, but anyway, you get the idea. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel now.